Well, Chris Williamson, whom you saw there in that uh, video, you know how to have fun, don't you, Chris? He joins us now, uh, Labour MP, and draw attention to yourself. Oh, we've got a smile. There we go. You've got your motor running. What are you trying to achieve on this tour? Well, it's about democracy in the Labour Party, and we want to ensure the Labour Party is given back to its members. We've got the Democracy Review, which is going to be making its recommendations to the Labour Party conference. And we'll be talking about that, how we elect our leader, how we make policy, how we elect council leaders, etc. Um, but I also want to go a little bit further. I want to give members the opportunity to determine who their candidates should be mm. in between each general election so that the sitting MPs are either endorsed or not by their elected members. And I think that will make them better representatives because we are a mass party now and the membership are the eyes and ears for the member of parliament. And right. I think there are no other organisation, no other uh, you know, body in the country, whether it be a trade union or a community organisation where the elected officials aren't expected to go through a periodic endorsement by their membership. So are they welcoming you with um, arms open, uh, the MPs uh, in these constituencies that you're going to visit? Or is it more like a deselection tour than a democracy tour, as uh, your critics have said? <laughs> Well, some might like to characterise it in that way, but we're only going to places where members have invited us. And I've got to say, oh, we've right. been inundated uh, well, Labour with members, not requests. MPs. I'm going to be... No, no, with, 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 Labour, with Labour members. But look, the Labour Party belongs to the membership. It's not, it doesn't belong to the Parliamentary Labour Party. The Parliamentary Labour Party, let's remember, Joe, is less than 0.04% of the total membership of the Labour Party. And uh, as I say, it, it's it... not extraordinary for, for members to have the right to determine who their candidates no, should sure. be in any organisation. Right. Well, well, if you look across the world, it's not it's fairly commonplace as well. Right. To have well, open primaries well, let's ask Clive, your, your, your colleague, are you going to be inviting um, Chris and Tosh to ride into your constituency? It might be a little bit uh, far away from I will happily say on, on live on TV, you're more than welcome to come <laughs> to Norwich as long as I get to go on the bike afterwards. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look. Health the, and safety, uh, Clive, the, health the, and safety. The, I think I, I, I'm not, I'm not worried about Chris coming to my constituency and I don't think anyone should no, be. No, because you're not one of those MPs who's, who's but, but, worried about no, being deselected. No, 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 but, no, but, but the funny thing is, there are people in my constituency that don't like my politics, that have it out with me, don't like the positions that I take, don't like the fact that I've done or said certain things. So I have to think, well, if we're going to move down in a democracy review that will take place, which is the biggest democratic uh, engagement process any political party in Western Europe has taken, uh, 11,000 people have submitted. If they then say that right. every, every election I have to stand, yeah, it might be an inconvenience. I might have to kind of keep an eye on what's going on inside my CLP a little bit closer. But nonetheless, it's the right thing to do.